What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to animate effects in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see on the screen right now, I have a picture of a sunset. So it's a still picture of a sunset. So it's a whole five seconds of just this one picture. So what I'm going to do is make it start off the way it is right now with all that same lighting. I'm going to make it fade into nighttime. Now we're not just going to do a fade like that and then it's just going to fade out like that. We're actually going to use some effects and we're going to animate the effect of when it will happen. So I'm going to show you this as an example. You can use this on your videos your photos, anything you want to, and any of these here which allow you to animate, you can. So I'm going to go to Color Curves and add this one right here, this one's known as Night. I'm going to click it and drag it here. So you can see instantly from the moment I put it on, the whole image was affected. So we actually need to animate it and as you can tell to animate this is going to be very simple. Click Animate at the bottom right here. Now as you can see, if we go to this one, this is a keyframe. So the keyframe is set to the preset as night. Now with that being said, we want it to fade into nighttime. So we're going to go ahead and drag this keyframe all the way to the end like that. And now we need to create another keyframe here by pressing this right here. And now we want this to be default, which is the top one right here. Default being the standard picture, night being like that. So because my laptop isn't the best, I can't really play it. it you'll see right now if I try playing it. It just freezes. So if I show you it through this right here, so this is what it will look like when you're doing it. You can see it's going to fade slowly into nighttime, boom, and then the video just cuts off because it was only five seconds. So I'll show you this in another way. So we'll change it from nighttime and we'll put it into infrared. So this time it's going to go from default to infrared. So let's see what this looks like. So we're going to go ahead and play through the video like this, and slowly you can see it changing. Boom, now you can definitely see that change. And that's what it'll do. Now, like I said, I can't preview this because my laptop is really bad. But that is what it'll look like in the end. And then, of course, you can just go ahead and render it out. Now, if you're going to animate a lens flare, it's a little bit different. So if I go ahead and drag this on right here, you can see you've got this here. Now, there's currently nothing on it. We just go ahead and put the intensity up and you'll see it. There we go. So now you can see... Where do we actually use this stuff? Now, this stuff right here allows you to animate. You can see it says animate. So you can animate any one of those. So if I animate the intensity right here. So the intensity is starting off. I'll start it about. I'll start it full. Then at the fifth second. Or the final second. I want the intensity to go back to zero. So hopefully this plays through now if we watch this. There you go. You can sort of see it. Again, my computer is not the best. Or my laptop is not the best. But you can see that is what it does. So that is another way to animate. It's not always going to be saying animate. It's sometimes going to have these buttons here. But it's still the exact same steps I've shown you. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It was a very simple tutorial. And hopefully you were able to follow along. Like I said, I'll start the video for that request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D. Then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when we're posting and what we're posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my gaming channel, which I'm starting up pretty soon. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, which is what I do throughout my day. It's the SB Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.